終わりだ Hey guys, what's going on? It's Darian, and today I'm going to be playing some Minecraft. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I actually have the Aether mod installed, so uh, that's also going to be uh, part of this playthrough. It's going to be like a, a jumbo vanilla and Aether mod playthrough, all in the same video series. So, uh, yeah. You should go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, I had played some of this earlier this morning, but. The uh, power went out because it was raining really bad, and uh, my my world got corrupted, which is a little sad. But it's no biggie. I I wasn't really that far into it anyway, and uh, ooh, looks like I'm in almost the exact same spot I was last time. All right, one thing you may notice is that. Uh, this is an unofficial mod uh, version of the mod because I don't think it was ever officially released in past 1.7.3 and the files somebody modified the files for it to work on 1.2.5 I do believe this is 1.2.5 I'm not positive it might be 1.0 because uh, I do believe 1.2.5 has the different colored wooden planks, and as you can see, those are just regular wood. It's just regular wood. Whereas in you know, the most recent update, it would be dark wood. You know, it's it's not that big of a difference. You still get potions and shit like that. You know, all the cool stuff. I don't really think there's much added between 1.0 and 1.2.5 that will be missed in this playthrough. Uh, anyway, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. We're getting some wood right here, which is uh, essential, obviously. Uh, one thing I'm going to have to apologize for in advance is the hissing of my mic. I really don't know what the what the deal with that is. It, it wasn't always like that. If you have a solution, I'm using a Turtle Beach X12 to record. It's plugged into the uh, analog mic line-in back of my computer and I've done some research and apparently that can cause hissing but I also went out and bought a USB mic and that was also hissing so uh, I really don't know what the deal is I also hear that it could potentially be that my USB ports are not grounded very well and well if that's the case I might be SOL because I don't really know how to ground a USB port any better than it already should be well, enough about that uh, this is gonna be a pretty long playthrough, just ju just by uh, judging by how how much content is added in by the Aether mod, and how much content was added in to uh, update 1.2.5 or 1.0. I think I already found a cave. I don't know what's in there, but uh, I see some gravel. That's about it. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and jump right into getting some planks. Do some sticks. Make me a bench. And that's that. Alright, I can get our pickaxe. I don't really bother with any of the other wooden tools, so I just go straight for the pickaxe. And then once you have the pickaxe, just get some stone. This is probably shit you already know. I mean, if you're watching Minecraft videos, you definitely already know the basics. I highly doubt this is that this would be the first Minecraft video that you come to. But uh, if you're looking for some Aether gameplay, that that's gonna come eventually. This is showing you uh, if you actually legitimately want to play through the Aether. With I, I highly doubt anybody's really going to do. Um, then uh, it. it <laughs> Playing through it legitimately was probably be a lot more fun than just playing through it with using too many items, spawning the glowstone. Actually, having to get to the uh, actually having to get to the Nether for the glowstone. Ought to add a little bit of uh, length to the playthrough and should be a, should be interesting. All right, as you see, I got my stone here, 
and uh, I'm gonna go throw it on the crafting bench and get my stone pickaxe. And I always go for a stone sword as well, just in case. Do do do. Yep, and I just threw my shit. I should probably make a furnace while I'm up here. Now, when I go, I should probably kill that pig too. Because uh, I don't know how long I'll be down there in that cave. This pig is gonna die in a couple seconds. There's a few pigs. Give me your pork chops, man. It's always good to carry food on you when you're in a cave because uh, food with you all the time. You never know when you're gonna get stranded or go hungry. Stuff like that. Looks like we got a swamp over there. Not much of anything else. I do need food though. And I'm just gonna go pop these into the furnace and get them cooked up real quick. Cause I've got a river running through right here. Excuse me. Okay. Add in the fuel. I'm gonna want to take some of the wood with me into the cave. This way, if I have to make a quick crafting bench or something like that, then I'm good to go. Or if I need to make more torches, you know, then I have the sticks already ready to be made. Hmm. Hopefully that's all the pork chop I need when I go down in there. But I really, really wish I could fix that hissing on the mic. I mean, it, ooh, it did that on another mic that I had, and that's why I got rid of it. And then I got this mic, and it worked just fine for a little bit. And now I don't know what the problem is. Like, what the heck? Could it be my USB port? I don't know. The world may never know. Let me just go ahead and fill up. Hopefully there's only... Yeah, alright, good. Only took two pork chops. Get this one cooked up. Alright, now we're good to go. You know, head down here. So, is there any coal like within sight? No. Oh, ooh, there's an Enderman. Is my brightness all the way up? Yeah, it is. Oh, my. I guess I could have that creeper blow up and kill. Oh shit! You guys probably can't see shit right now, but I apologize. Gotta get this iron. I could make charcoal. I can't see shit. I need to get the fuck out of here. Because I could make some uh, charcoal torches. I'm in the Enderman. He's just like right there. Hope he doesn't disappear before I get back. I'm gonna need that for Ender Eyes in the future. You know what? Ender Pearls might actually be useful in the uh, in the Aether. I have to find out how that works. I need logs, don't I? To get uh, charcoal. I don't always make charcoal, so I wouldn't really know. I don't know why I just tried to make a wooden one. I guess while I get the wood, this can be smelted. Okay. Gotta get me some charcoal so I can get torches, so I can light that place up. I don't really gotta care about how pretty this world looks. Maybe I should. <clears throat> I might spend a lot more time on this world than I than I think. Which why I can always clean it up in the future. Alright, that should be enough. It's not quite done yet. Uh, laziness away, make another furnace. Well not really laziness, just impatience. I already got myself a uh, iron sword. That's good. And an iron pickaxe. Which means I can get diamonds and redstone and shit like that. If and when I need it. Alright. Uh, 
hurry up and have this shit finish smelting. Right now, I'll just take half of these, half of those, put them in here. What the fuck? Alright, put them in there. Um. Yeah. Get those burning. Might just make an another, uh. I'll just make another furnace here in a couple minutes. That should be enough for me to start looking in here. Ouch. Do do do. Enderman's probably long gone. Oh, there was coal right there, really? Shouldn't use this just yet. Big ass vein of coal. Oh! Oh shit. Well, that was interesting. Ah, oh, and there's a skeleton right there. Go! What is going on? Getting my ass kicked. This is a lot of iron in here. Just reading a quick text message. Alright. Getting some coal, man. 